Alright guys, today I'm just going to show you a quick little colour correction tutorial on Adobe After Effects using Magic Bullet Looks and this is from a Spiritus uh, mini edit which is quite good in my opinion for like only using After Effects for like 2 or 3 days and that's the colour correction you see there it's basically slightly blue tinted with a basic vignette and spot exposure in the middle looks quite good on maps like uh, Countdown and Ambush and stuff so anyway, what you want to do is go to effect magic boot looks and apply that and then edit it firstly you want to add in a color curve and copy down these settings contrast to 0 0.5 shadows to minus 0 0.1 mid tones to 2.6 highlights oh not 2.6 0 0.26 Highlights to 1.58 and gamma space to 2.5. Now you want to add on a vignette which is under lens and basically leave everything the same but change spread to 0 0.4 and strength down to 70. And yeah, that's the vignette. So next you want to add a spot exposure. Change stops to 0 0.6, I think it was, yeah, 0 0.6. Spread to 0 0.4. And leave that the same. Oh yeah, and on the vignette you want to change the exposure compensation to minus 0 0.3. And now you want to add a colour filter. There's going to be two of these, so we might as well put two on right now. And on the first one, you want to put exposure compensation to 0 0.9, reds to 0 0.43, greens to 0 0.58, and blues to 0 0.82. And on the second color filter, you want to Put exposure compensation to 1, change the reds to 0 0.4, greens to 0 0.35, and the blues to 0 0.39. And that's basically it. Looks pretty decent in my opinion. Um, if another little effect you can do, which is basically like a quick way to do a RGB split, is going to lens and add a chromatic aberration what ba this basically does is splits the colours out and uh, what you want to do, depending on what colour you want to split out say for example you want to bring the reds and cyans out, you put the reds and cyans up to about one and a half and make the green and magentas like minus maybe one, minus one and put the blues and yellows up slightly, just to give it a bit of a boost. As you can see, that gives it a nice little split effect as well, which is a nice little extra. So uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll do more tutorials soon if you like this one. Peace.